listening to... WA25 cars, Scott Milling quickly to the race lead. Have a look at the inside passing move from the New South Wales 6. David Dougherty up there on the 3 4 turns. I'd say Aiden G may have problems. In car number 38, he's certainly dropping back going across the start finish line. The Mayolo car, one of our contracted drivers in the Wanderlust World Series sprint cars, fifth, sixth placing coming out of the 3 4 turns. It's all the WA car, the Scott Milling car in second placing. Ball! Oh, have a look at the start finish line. Car number 90, the Anthony Lambert car. I must admit I missed the entire incident. I was so intent on watching the Scott Milling, the total workwear car. Car number 25 down there on the bottom turns. Drew, will this wait for you, Trackside? I tell you what, mate, that is a huge moment. First, of course, the uh, Rowett car out of South Australia, and unfortunately, Anthony Lambert, car 90. And it was a rough ride right across the concrete wall. Let me tell you something. Those big tyres, they take a lot of the force. Those That big alloy wings, they take loads of the force, but he ran the chassis across the concrete. That hurts. But let me tell you something. I know Anthony Lambert from a long time ago. He's out of the car. He was a stuntman, let me remind everyone. He's very fast on a motocross bike. He would be upset. He busted the rocker in the motor on Wednesday night. Want to have a quick word? First of all, you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I think I had a flat tyre going down there before I even tagged the wall, but yeah, I got into the throttle there too much. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but so hopefully we'll get back out there. Hopefully, mate. We're going to hurt your points. You may be out of the sea. So let's hear it from Anthony Lambert. Even those top wings, uh, Drew, when they are damaged, as you would no doubt realise, what are you looking at around about $1,200 for a top wing alone? That's right. Vortex, race, Vortex Racing products, around about $1,200. I could be wrong. I haven't bought one in my life, let's be uh, honest. But, it was... but yeah, it's, they're real annoying for a lot of reasons. They're very lightweight. You could pick one up easily alone. But look at all the stickers and all the work you have to put on. That's right. You could repair... You, know, you couldn't really repair that, but every time you bust a sideboard, you've got to get out the the tools and repair them and but put those rotten stickers on a lot of these teams have sticker companies i know the titan team have got their own sticker machine but it takes a lot of upcoming shows out here at bis next saturday night january 17 out here at bis the demolition derby unfortunately rained out from last saturday night usa versus the rest of the world v8 dirt modified racing the prestigious summer slam series here next saturday night a magnificent interval fireworks display plus compact speaker <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.